what's up my friend my name is monica and welcome to my porch we're gonna be doing yoga here just because hawaii is still in quarantine so i can't be on the beach but i'm still happy to share my yoga with you we're gonna be doing some a short series to help your low back so we're gonna start out slow and then go a little bit quicker so that way we ca have some circulation for that low back so i'll see you on the mat So let's begin in a child's pose position today. And I'm just gonna have our legs more closer to each other. And then first bring your hands as far out as they can go. So reaching out, trying to get a low back stretch here. So to focus on your low back when you're in this pose, try to bring your hips more inward. So you're really pressing on your palms and just pushing your hands away from your body so you're pushing towards the back of the wall and creating space in that low back and then we're going to use our breath and send the breath to our lower back so our breath is going to act like an icy hot package icy hot patch it's going to alleviate the pain that we feel or the discomfort that we feel. So let's inhale through the nose and send the breath to the low back. Inhale, bring in the new energy and allow it to soothe the lower back. And as you exhale, try to sink a little bit further to the ground, a little bit further to the earth. Can you reach a little bit more to the front of the mat. Inhale, send your breath to the low back. Kind of like envisioning wind just clearing off a porch. Your breath is clearing out the pain and the discomfort in the low back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale inhale and exhale good and so we come on up to your all fours and we're just going to do some cat cow movements so bringing the stomach to the earth and then bringing it out just doing these gentle movements and then looking up to the sky just awakening the low back, creating some movement, creating circulation to go into the low back. Then again, completely bring yourself, bring the chest up, lift a little bit higher, then sink the belly to the ground, looking up. Round yourself completely. If you need some more stability, you can curl your back toes. That way you feel more grounded, more rooted. You're not just wobbling around. And again, arch yourself in. And then bring yourself down. Good. Let's do that one more time each way. Bring it all in. And look up. Good. And we'll come up to a plank position. Just a small transition here. Really lift through the spine. Sometimes our low back hurts just because it's a little bit on the weaker side. So we're just going to hold the plank for five more counts. So really lift up, tuck the hips under, tuck the ribs in for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower yourself to a chaturanga, lifting up to an up dog. And coming into the second pose that's going to help stretch out the low back so lift through the chest relax the shoulders your hips should be off of the ground your feet are relaxed looking up to the sky and smile smile to the sky say hello to the sun or hello to the stars whatever time of day it is for you so i thank you for joining me in this practice today Inhale and exhale. Good. Let's curl the toes. 
lifting to a down dog, pedaling out your feet, and then lowering yourself back into that child's pose. Just resting that low back here. Inhale and exhale. So we're gonna do a series one more time, but just a little bit quicker. So just resting here. Let's take one last deep breath, sending the breath to the low back. Expand the belly and relax to the earth. And shift your weight forward. And then dropping the belly, looking up. And then curling all, all in. And again, into the cow pose and into the cat. One more each way, dropping the belly, look up and completely lift up and then into the plank position this one we're still gonna hold for five counts but really engage through your core lift through the palms lift even higher for five four three two and one lower yourself and into the up dog Hold for three, two, and one. Curling the toes into the down dog, bringing the knees down and the child's pose. Very good. Again, just awakening that low back, creating movement, creating circulation. So let's do this series one more time. Using our breath per the movement. So inhale, come to the tabletop, exhale, drop the belly, inhale, come on in, suck it all in, exhale, open up that chest, then round your chest in, and then into the plank, using your breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, lift yourself inhale and exhale squeeze your bum tuck your hips tuck your ribs in and for five four three two one inhale and exhale lower inhale lift exhale into the down dog pedal out your feet getting used to the movement, used to your breath, and then lower yourself down completely into the child's pose. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you exhale, try to sink a little bit further to the earth. Sink even further and thank the earth for its support. Thank the earth for being here right now. And thank yourself more importantly and thank your low back for the pain because it has brought you to this moment it has brought you here with me to alleviate it to give it some circulation to give it love so use your breath and send some love to your low back inhale send the breath just like the wind just sweeping away anything that's loose on a porch your breath is just shooing away that pain pain always comes back but the more we can send our breath to those areas the less time we have to be in the pain because we are using the breath to come back to the present moment to come back to our natural state to our natural state of being and our natural state of being is still is calm is whole and if it is just for a split second that you don't feel any pain you made it you did it you freed your mind from it and that's all you need to awaken into the present state 
and it's gonna be addicting and you're gonna to wanna to come back here. So the more you practice, the more your muscles and your body will remember that this is not so. It is ready to change. It is ready to start anew. So inhale, come into that tabletop. Shake yourself out. Do a couple circles. And then come back into a seated position. And just shake again to the left and to the right, just like a clock. An ancient clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. And bring your hands up over the head. And then place your hands by your lower back and sending that love to the low back. Thank your low back and thank yourself for practicing here with me today. So be sure to share this with one person and like, subscribe for more videos. Till we meet again.